everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Savannah and today we're talking about the Wolverine, one of the eight new animals being added to Planet Zoo with the new Eurasia Animal Pack that releases on December 13th. Now the screenshot that you're looking at now is actually the one they released with the announcement trailer. They released this one and the Winset with the announcement trailer as far as screenshots go. And then as they usually do, they've been kind of releasing screenshots every day leading up to pack release. So today, like I mentioned, we're talking about the Wolverine. So moving to our new screenshot for today, I actually think we get more information from the first one, honestly. In the first screenshot, we see the Wolverine up in a tree sitting on one of the tree branches. There's another Wolverine in the background. It's just more of a dynamic screenshot. And this one, although gorgeous, and I love the contrast of like the dark, Wolverine fur against all the white and the winter of the landscape. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I have mentioned before that I'm really excited about this whole kind of winter theme of the pack, even though that's not really an official theme. It is just an animal pack, but it's releasing in December. It's releasing in the winter. And so I love that they've made all of their screenshots and their media kits and things like that is all kind of snowy and wintry. I think it's great. Uh, but in this screenshot, as you can plainly see, we just have a Wolverine standing on a rock. As always, I think the fur looks fantastic. Uh, Frontier does a phenomenal job with fur, especially in their most recent animal models. They've really like stepped it up, really improved their game, and the animals just look better and better and better. I love the design of this guy. The only thing that I'm missing is I really wish we would have been able to see like a baby Wolverine or a couple Wolverines together or something like that, you know, just to give us some more information about the animal, because there's really not much we can gather from looking at this Wolverine standing on a rock. However, nonetheless, we are still going to talk about our Wolverine friend here. Wolverines have a wide variety of nicknames. They are known throughout the United States as the Glutton, Woods Devil, Indian Devil, Nasty Cat and Skunk Bear. I have never heard any of those nicknames, to be honest. I have always referred to them as the, uh, the Wolverine. So it's really interesting to hear they have so many interesting nicknames. It is the largest land living species in the weasel family. The Wolverine usually weighs between 17 and 40 pounds and stands up to a foot and a half tall and is generally about 33 to 43 inches long, including its tail. The male is usually larger than the females. Historically, the Wolverine was in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California and the Southern Rocky Mountains in Colorado, Wyoming, and New Mexico. Wolverine populations are currently known in the North Cascades Range in Washington, the Northern Rockies of Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and a small portion of Oregon. The Wolverine also resides in Alaska, Canada, and Russia. Uh, it's interesting to me, obviously they do mention Rus Russia, so somewhere over, you know, in the Europe area uh, across the, the ocean from me, but they were introduced in a Eurasia pack and the majority of the range, it sounds like they're describing is all like United States and uh, uh, like North America kind of region. So it's really interesting to me to hear that. Maybe they got uh, transported over uh, a while ago and they're originally from like the Eurasia area. Um, my geography is not the best. So I really don't have a visual picture of anywhere other than in the United States that they're describing these guys being. So if you know, please do let me know down in the comment section below. The Wolverines range widely up to 15 miles a day and need lots of habitat. Home ranges can vary from 100 to 600 square miles. In the lower 48, so everywhere uh, except for Alaska and Hawaii, right? Is that lower 48? I know it doesn't include Alaska. They live primarily in high altitudes with alpine vegetation, but can venture to lower elevations. It is estimated that 25 to 300 live in the lower 48 states. Wolverines in the lower 48 states are under consideration for protection under the Endangered Species Act. Although the wolverine has very specific habitat needs, 
was never a common species and was widely persecuted. The primary reason for now uh, being added to a threatening list is climate change. Wolverines need deep snow to birth and rear their young. As a snowpack continues to melt earlier and earlier each year, aggressive action must be taken to reduce the carbon pollution driving climate change and to consider climate impacts in wolverine conservation efforts. Once heavily persecuted and likely eliminated from the lower 48 states, the wolverine returned on its own over the past 50 years. It is estimated that due to climate change, within 30 years, about 30% of the wolverine habitat in the lower 48 states will be gone. Within about 70 years, an estimated 60% of their habitat will be lost in the lower 48 states. With snowpack melting earlier and earlier, scientists predict that wolverine habitat will shrink significantly by the end of the century. And to end things on a fun fact, the wolverine, like most weasels, has scent glands with a strong odor they use for marking its territory and attracting uh, males and females, uh, attracting each other for mating. Very cool. So that's a little bit about our Wolverine. Um, let me know, of course, if you have any fun facts or any information. Um, and I can't wait to see these guys. I am still holding out my official ranking of favorites until I see everything. But the Wolverine and the Mute Swan are up there. They are definitely front runners as of now. I'm very excited to build for them. So let me know what you think. As always, while you're down there leaving your comment, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button as I trip over my words. Best thing you can do to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. And until next time, I will see you in the next episode. Bye.